you on how to make lemon jelly. So basically this is super easy recipe. Um, lemon jelly is a really nice kind of rare thing that you're gonna find. It's great for like English muffins, um, any sort of biscuit. Uh, you know, basically I use it to put in recipes. So like even like a, just anything, lemon cake. I have tons of recipes on my channel. I'm going to be adding more every week of different ways to use different jellies. But yeah, I mean, it's just a great thing that you can put in things and it's nice to have around. So, um, I don't have a link for this recipe guys, but, um, it's just basically, um, a recipe that I came up with looking at different recipes I kind of saw online. There's a lot of different recipes out there. It's kind of based on the uh, sure gel citrus recipe, but that's more of like an orange recipe with a few lemons in it And I just kind of used the same principles and went with it. So it worked out great It tastes delicious and I hope you guys enjoy it So first of all guys since before we go to the next step, please like this video and subscribe to my channel I truly appreciate that and um, so here we go. So basically I have 12 lemons I've kind of already got one cut up um and that's kind of what I'm going to go with for the recipe. I'll go over the ratios of everything once we get the juice. Here I also have this Juice King. So this is a vintage Juice King I actually got from my cousin. So I'm very fortunate to have this. I've seen different juicing presses online and stuff and they're kind of pricey. But this one, like I said, it's nice. It's vintage. You can still get them on eBay. I throw the whole thing in the dishwasher when I'm done. Eventually I'll have to repaint it and probably repaint the handle on it. Um, but for now it works great. Uh, this base is aluminum. Them, so that's kind of why it's tarnished for me throwing it in the dishwasher. But like I said, I'm, it's just a really nice thing. Um, basically, you're not really going to find an easier way to juice citrus stuff. So basically, you want to take your lemons and you just want to go over them and roll them on the countertop, on your cutting board, whatever you want to do. And that's just going to loosen up those juices. That's just going to ensure that, you know, you're trying to get as much of those juice pockets loosened up as you can. And then obviously just go ahead and cut the lemon and basically you just put it in this press here. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'll try to move around here. So you just put it in the press and just go down, push it really hard, as hard as you guys can do. And then this is what the inside will look like. So as you can see, I mean, there's not any pockets left in there. There's some seeds in there. Um, and I'll just keep doing that till it's all done. Uh, this kind of collects the seeds in some pulp. But guys, I did set up another strainer over here. This is just a liquid measuring cup, which I need anyways. And then just a um, little strainer, mesh strainer. And then I have a coffee filter in there. So guys, I'm going to finish doing that. And I'll get this juice strained. And we'll be back to go over the next step. So here we have it, all the lemons juiced. So again, this was 12 lemons and I end up getting about two and three quarter cups of lemon juice. Um, you know, basically when it comes to the lemons, make sure that you're watching to see that the lemons are on sale and obviously um, depends on if you're in an area that has lemons, I am not. So that's something I have to buy at the store. Uh, but yeah, guys, and one thing I do want to point out. So last time I did this, I used the coffee filter, but I actually let the lemon juice just sit in the fridge overnight before I could make the jelly. So honestly, now that I'm thinking of, or I'm looking at it, I really don't think you need the coffee filter. If you just have a fine mesh strainer, that's going to be enough to collect any of the extra pulp that goes through here, guys. So if, again, unless you've got time to let it really sit and strain, um, we just need to, we're just focused more on getting those big chunks out of there. So I'm getting ready to go over the recipe here, but one thing I don't want to forget about is these rinds for the lemons. So basically, I'm going to blend these up, and I am going to make a little air fresheners for around my house. Uh, I'll have a YouTube video on it if you guys want to check it out, but please know you do not need to let these go to waste. I mean, you can make a cleaner. There's so many things you can do with these lemon peels, but like I said, guys, check out that video. So now we are on to the recipe. So I ended up with two and three quarters cup of lemon juice. And now you want to basically take equal amounts of water. So two and three quarter cups water. And we basically need that for the recipe because of the fact that lemons are so acidity, you need to cut that acid. So we cut it with water and then basically we end up with five and a half cups. Um, I'll just pour that together. So we end up with five and a half cups of um, lemon juice basically, you know, essentially is what we do. So then for the recipe, it calls for five tablespoons of pectin. Now five tablespoons of pectin is one box of sure gel. So guys, I use bulk pectin. Um, right now I'm using this Weaver's Country Market pectin. I'll put a link for that in the description where you guys can buy that. This runs about $50, a five pound bag. 
Um, seriously, guys, if you look up the Sure Gel boxes of pectin right now at the store around where I live, it's about $4 a box. And um, basically when you guys are making a lot of jelly, obviously you could tell from this juice, we didn't get exactly two cups of um, lemon juice that my recipe calls for. Um, but so basically, yeah, I wanted to go over that with you guys as well. Um, so it's gonna be, Two cups of jelly is what this actual recipe calls for, and two cups of water. So basically I'm doing the math here to make um, it to where I've got actually six tablespoons, um, six tablespoons and one half teaspoons of pectin is what that came out with. So anyways, guys, I'll go over that again in a little bit here. But yeah, so the bulk pectin is the way to go, um, just for the fact that one, you're saving money, and two, when you end up with more than what an actual recipe calls for, you don't have to waste it, you can just do the math. So instead of taking two boxes of Sure Gel pectin and separating it out, I already have my bulk pectin. So, okay guys, so again, the recipe originally called for two cups lemon juice, two cups water, five tablespoon pectin, or one box of pectin, and five cups sugar. So because of the fact I got two and three quarter cups lemon juice, and I have two and three quarter cups water, I have six tablespoons, one half teaspoon pectin, and I have six cups sugar, and um, six and like oh and eighth cup sugar is what I ended up with. So guys, so then from this point, basically we're just gonna take it and we're gonna turn, so I guess we'll take it, I'll turn this um, burner on here, but basically I've got one 10 quart stock pot for this recipe because it's pretty small. I've got one 10 quart stock pot over here that's got water boiling in it. And um, it's got a little trivet on the bottom and then I also have a little bit of white vinegar in there. And so that's what I'm gonna can this jelly in. I'm gonna hot water bath can it. And that little splash of white vinegar is to prevent any watermarks from getting on my jar. So they come out nice and squeaky clean. I do have a lid for this as well. And then over here, I have eight prepared jars and I have eight one piece lids. So guys, I'll leave a link for the one piece lids in um, my recipe or in my video as well. I like the one piece lids for jelly because then as you're taking the lids off the jars, you're putting them back on and you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, the flats and getting a different lid and all of that stuff. So, okay guys, I got this burner on here and basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour in the lemon juice and we're gonna pour in the pectin and we're gonna stir that up really, really well and we're gonna bring that to a boil. And then once it's boiling, we'll add the sugar. So I'll be back once this is boiling. This is now boiling. So this is just the lemon juice, the water in the pectin mix. And then I wanna go ahead and I wanna pour in the sugar. So basically what we wanna do then is we wanna bring this back to a rolling boil and we wanna boil that for one minute. So I'll be back once this comes back to a boil. This is now to a rolling boil, which is, you know, a boil that when you do not, when you stir it, it does not um, quit boiling. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna set my timer for one minute. So timer one, and this whole time this is boiling, I'm just gonna be stirring. And I'll be back when this timer goes off timer's going off. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel it. I'm going to shut this burner down and I'm going to remove this from heat and I'm just going to kind of let it come back down from this boil here just so it's not bubbling. And then over here I have set aside now I have these glass measuring cups that I used uh, originally to measure everything out. And basically when I pour my jelly into the jars, now I am going to use it from these glass measuring cups. A lot of people use a funnel or whatever and use a ladle. I do not, that's a waste of time. Um, but make sure your glass measuring cups, these are the Pyrex, they're glass, they're heat resistant. Um, and I pour everything into this big one and then I pour it into the smaller one. So this big one a lot of times will make stuff drip everywhere. So, um, and then they pour it into the smaller one and pour it in, but we'll go over that. Jelly is done boiling so at this point we just go ahead and we pour it in to this one and like I said I have eight prepared jars I don't think I'll need nine but now that I'm looking at it I think I might so once that's poured in there I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the, the sink and I'm going to pour some water on it oh guys look at that color isn't it pretty um, so really with this lemon jelly, we didn't get a lot of foam. A lot of my recipes, we will, um, a lot of my recipes, it'll be a lot of foam on the top because, you know, it's different fruit and it's not as clean as what this lemon is. And that's what causes the foam and a lot, is a lot of different fruit particles. 
So guys, um, I'm just gonna let this sit just a minute. There is some foam I wanna scrape off the top. Try to scrape just a little bit of this foam off the top. I did just let this sit just um, about a minute or so. It's gonna kind of get in there. I did sample just a little sample of it. And let me tell you, it is so good. It's not too sweet and it's not too tart. So it just has that nice lemon flavor. All right, guys. So then from this point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to transfer it into this four cup one. Um, and then I'm going to start pouring it into my jars here. So just transfer. And I may, like I said, I may need nine jars over here. I have eight. So then I just take it into this four cup one and this is why I do this. So, um, hold on one second. Let me flip these guys over. Okay. So I take this then and I just slow and steady pour this into these jars. So, um, like I said, a lot of people will use a funnel. I do not because I find with the funnel that, you know, I only need a quarter inch headspace in these jars. And I find with the funnel that, um, it sticks to the bottom of the funnel and then when I go to move it to another jar, then it's getting my rim all disgusting. And basically, as you can see, this is a very clean, easy way to do this. All right, guys, so I'll be back once I get all these filled. I got nine uh, half pint, one cup jars filled up and I'm so excited about this jelly. Um, it tastes so good. I literally, the, what I scraped off with the foam, I tasted it and it's, it's going to be good. My mom's going to love it. Uh, so anyways, guys, what you do is take a wet paper towel and you start right, wiping the rim of this and just make sure if anything got on the rim, you're just cleaning it up and then just making sure that you got everything off. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the lids on. My lids on and um, basically you just want them on tight put them on tight. Don't really wrench, wrench them on, but they need to be on tight. And I've got my hot water bath going. Now this fits six jars typically, but because I have nine, I'm going to do the four jars first and split them in two. And basically what I do is I just take my jar lifter here and I go ahead and I grab each one and I just set it in the water. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the lid on it. And basically I do the smallest amount first typically when I have, when I don't have a full canner of six and that way as it boils, that water will come down. And then when I do the five jars, that water will rise back up and I'll still be covering the jars. So guys, once it starts boiling again, once the lid's on, then I'm gonna set my timer for 15 minutes here it's getting to a boil again. So I'm gonna set these jars for 15 minutes. Um, typically, you know, they'll say with jelly, do five minutes for half pints. I like to do a good 15, that way I make sure everything's nice and sterilized. Um, to sterilize stuff, I mean, obviously my stuff is always clean, but to, to sterilize stuff, it needs to be boiled for at least 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I do 15 minutes, better safe than sorry. And so basically I'm just gonna go ahead, set my timer, 15, hit start. And I will see you guys back here when I'm taking that second batch out of the canner. So my timer's going off. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear that. Turn my burner off. I'm gonna go ahead and you guys can let this um, stop boiling a little bit if you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right in. Um, so you go ahead and take your lid off with your jar lifter and then go ahead and take your jar lifter and then just grab each jar in there. Get a good grip on it, you might have to move it around. And then just turn it to the side and get any of that extra water off. And then just go ahead and set it with your other ones and then just get all of them out. And then the big thing too is before that water dries on there, just uh, pat that off. Nine out, I went ahead and I took my paper towel and I got any of the excess stuff out. Um, I don't know what's going on with this lid here. Sometimes these lids dome up and as long as they seal though, they're fine. They'll usually, this one is a weird lid that I got, but anyways. Um, so basically guys, I will let these cool down. I'll let these safety buttons pop and we'll double check them and uh, I'll be back once I get them labeled. Okay, so I got the lemon jelly all cooled down. I've got it labeled, safety buttons all popped, set up really nicely. It's nice, crystal clear, it's just beautiful. So guys, um, the labels that I use are Avery two and a half inch round labels. I also designed them on the Avery design and print software. I will put a link for those in the description. I'll put a link for the one piece lids 
and then the bulk pectin that I use. And then I'll also put, um, you know, the recipe in the description as well. So anyways, guys, the recipe, as you guys know, super easy, water, lemon juice, pectin, you can't go wrong. So easy. Um, also guys, the other thing that I want to reiterate is this is another way to juice your lemons. This is nice little tool. I mean, it's typically under five bucks. You just basically do the same principle of rolling your lemon, cut it in half, I would do it over that screen, that mesh strainer again, right into your measuring cup, and then just go ahead and get in there and get all that juice out. Again, I checked out Juice Kings on eBay and they are actually running for a pretty penny, even being used or whatever. So I'm pretty fortunate to have that, but this works just as well, guys. Um, another thing is, is I just don't use my lemon jelly for like English muffins and biscuits. It's great for that. Um, I also, you know, like to give, I do give some away, like my mom's actually on her way now to get some. So so that's really good. But the, the main thing that I use my lemon jelly for is to incorporate into recipes. So I have quite a few recipes on my YouTube channel now, if you guys want to check it out, but I also, um, we'll be adding more. My favorite one is to add it to like a white cake. I just swirl a cup of jelly in there. I have that on my YouTube channel, but I also love them in danishes with like some cream cheese danish with some lemon jelly cooked in over there. Awesome. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you soon.